the tube itself here is concrete form tube. It's cardboard tube. That's exactly what it is. And uh, I was able to buy a nice chunk of it exactly the size I needed for this telescope. But it's cardboard. People think, you know, you need to spend $10,000 to have a big, nice telescope. You really don't. You can spend three, four hundred dollars and get a really great telescope for that. So, or if you're crazy, you can make one. <laughs> the way this telescope works is light comes in through the front end of the telescope, which is open. It's wide open. So light goes down through the tube and there is a curved mirror at the base of the telescope that gathers and focuses the light. It comes up, it hits this little flat mirror down inside. That mirror bounces the light off the side of the tube and that's where the eyepiece is, and this is where you look in. So this is what's pointing at whatever you're looking at, the telescope, but you're actually looking this way. It's all based on two mirrors, one big curved mirror that gathers and focuses the light, a little small mirror that bounces it off the side, and then the eyepiece. And that's where you look right in there, and that's where you see all the cool stuff. This is a Newtonian reflector. It's actually a type of a telescope that was um, invented by Isaac Newton. The apple falling on the head, gravity, and all of that. <laughs> Back in his day, it was really hard to get good, clear glass. With a mirror, you don't care because you're just using the front surface of the mirror. So it's much easier to actually make a curved mirror telescope, a reflector telescope like this, than it is to make a refractor, one with lenses. Much, much easier to make them and make them big.